Ever since I was a kid, I was bullied often in school. Sometimes it was for being half Asian, other times it was for being smaller than the other kids. And there was also that one time where I got bullied for talking to a kid's girlfriend. Now luckily for me, I took up Taekwondo at an early age, so even as a kid, I knew how to defend myself. I didn't like fighting other people, but if things got out of hand, I would defend myself if it came down to it. As my Taekwondo master told me, Taekwondo should only be used in the form of defense, never offense. And that's something that I took to heart, not just for fighting, but for life in general. If you can solve a solution without violence, then that should always be your number one goal. Anyways, this story takes place back when I was in middle school, and I remember it distinctly. It was science class, seventh period. The classroom had about 20 students or so, and each table in the classroom had about four kids sitting there. Now this class was kind of special to me, not because it was seventh grade science, but because the girl that I liked was actually in this class. Now, it wasn't Claire, the girl that I mentioned in my previous videos that I ended up dating. This was just a short school crush that only lasted one semester, and this girl's name was Sarah. And she was a really nice girl, but the only problem for me was that she had a boyfriend, and he wasn't exactly the nicest guy in town. In fact, he was kind of a jerk who especially didn't like kids like me. And when I say that, I don't mean it's because I'm Asian. I mean he didn't like me because I was poor. Or at least, in his eyes, I was. You see, in my school district growing up, there was always two main huge groups of kids, and it was the popular rich kids who all lived up in the hills, and then there was the tough poor kids who lived down at the bottom of the hills or the valley. And you guessed it, I belonged to the latter. Growing up in this kind of situation always put a severe amount of pressure on school for me. And on this particular day in seventh grade science class, I was feeling that extra pressure because today was seat reassignment day. And if you guys don't know what that means, it basically means that every eight or nine weeks, the teacher reassigns all of our seats. Yeah. That's right, we had assigned seating in our classes. I don't know about you guys, maybe you could sit wherever you want, but in my school, every class, we all had assigned seats. Sometimes you get sat down next to a group of people you liked, or sometimes it would be next to people that you didn't even know and you didn't even like. Anyways, back to the story. I remember my science teacher calling out the list of names. Joshua, here. Uh, Lawrence, you sit over here. Terry. Right over here. It was moments like these where my heart would always race a little bit inside my chest because I was nervous about who I would sit next to. I never knew if it was gonna be a friend or foe. Now don't get me wrong, I was nice to everybody and always willing to give people the benefit of the doubt. But oftentimes growing up, people would judge me first and already make up their minds that they didn't want to be friends with me before we even had a first conversation. So naturally, these kinds of situations didn't excite me that much until Sarah? Right here, next to Terry. Holy crap, Sarah is actually going to sit next to me for a whole semester? This is probably th the best luck I've ever had. Hey, she said as she sat down next to me. <clears throat> hey, I'm Terry. I know, she just said your name. Yeah, I know, I was just, you know, introducing myself. Terry, stop talking. Sorry. <laughs> she giggled a little bit. I thought to myself, this is a sign. It was meant to be. My future girlfriend. Unfortunately for me, I didn't know that Sarah at the time actually had a boyfriend. Later that day after class, I was walking through the halls during a break period when all of a sudden, hey, are you Terry? A kid comes up to me. I've never actually met this kid, but I've seen him around. He's one of the rich kids. Yeah, that's me. Don't ever talk to my girlfriend. What are you talking about, dude? You know what I'm talking about. Don't ever talk to Sarah. She's my girlfriend. And if I catch you talking to her again, I'll pound you. Listen, pal, I don't know how good your slang is, but in the future, I would refrain from saying pound me. It has another meaning. <clears throat> he shoves me up against my locker. How about you refrain my fist? At this moment, I was getting very angry and annoyed, but as I looked around, I saw that a group of people around us was starting to form. And in situations like this, there was only two outcomes. One, a fight. Or two, one of us walks away like the bigger man should. However, unfortunately, in middle school, that was seen as being a wimp. I looked around at the other kids. I knew that if I got into a fight right now, I'd probably get suspended again, and my parents would be even more mad at me than the time I skipped school. Fine, whatever you say. We have science class together, that's all. I don't care what you have. Just don't talk to her. He shoves me again, and then walks away. Ooh, -hoo, damn, Darren, you gonna kick Terry's ass? Get him, Darren. <laughs> He's not worth my time. He fixed my shirt as he walked away. Looking back at him, I could only think, why do the nice girls always have to end up with assholes? 
Later that day, I went home and just thought about this situation that I'm in. A tiny bit of good luck finally happens to me and I get to sit next to the girl that I like. But of course, she has a boyfriend who hates me and doesn't even want me to talk to her when we sit right next to each other. I mean, I guess I could technically go an entire semester without ever talking to Sarah, but that's just ridiculous. I shouldn't have to out myself just because some snobby kid told me to. And just like that, I made up my mind and I knew exactly what I was gonna do. Terry, come down for dinner, I made sushi. Just then my mom barges into my room. Mom, can't you knock? Oh, that reminds me. Don't forget to tell the people how to support your videos on Patreon. What? What people? What are you talking about? By going to patreon.com slash terrytv, you guys can support my son's videos and help him make even better content. Mom, what are you do- who are you talking to? Link in description. Ugh. This is why I need a lock. The next day, I went to school, determined. I wasn't gonna let some hillwalker boss me around, especially just because he was dating the girl I liked. Okay, maybe that's actually a good reason not to talk to her, but still, she sits right next to me, okay? It's bound to happen. When seventh period science class came, I sat down in my seat. Shortly after, Sarah sat down next to me. Hey. Hey, I said with a slight smile on my face. All right, class, let's begin. Please open up your textbooks to page 469. <laughs> 69. Zip it, Mark. Jasmine, could you start reading, please, at the top of the page? Sure thing. Anti-predator adaptations are mechanisms developed through evolution that assist prey in their constant struggle against predators. And just like that, the class began. I knew I had to talk to Sarah eventually, and during class was really my only option. If I tried to talk to her anywhere else, Darren could easily find out and get even more provoked. Hey, Sarah? Yeah? She whispered back. Listen, I, uh, wanted to talk to you about something. Oh, sure, what's up? Well, I, uh, found out you're dating Darren, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we just started dating a week ago. Well, about Darren. He came up to me yesterday, and he was really upset, and I think he got some kind of misunderstanding between us. Oh? What do you mean? I don't know. But for some reason, he thinks that I'm trying to flirt with you, I guess, by talking to you. But, I mean, we sit right next to each other. It's not exactly like we're not gonna talk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like right now. Yeah, exactly. Like right now. Anyways, I don't know, maybe you could just mention it to him sometime when you get a chance that, hey, you know, we just sit next to each other for science class and that's it, you know? Just so there's, you know, not another misunderstanding. Oh, sure, I'll talk to him today. All right, great. I mean, let's all be friends, right? Yeah, ha ha ha. Yeah. Terry, why are you talking when Jasmine is reading? You do that one more time, you get detention. <laughs> not like it mattered. I already said exactly what I needed to say. And now all I had to do was let time play out. After class, I felt pretty good. Sarah seemed to take it pretty well, it seemed like she was gonna talk to Darren, and it seemed like everything was gonna work out just fine. During the break period, I met up with my friends Ray, Jimmy, and Bobby. They were also part of the Tough Poor Kids community, or as we called ourselves, the Bottom Dwellers. Yo, Terry, my dude! Yo, what are we doing after school today? I don't know, I mean, I just got a new assignment for history class, so I'm probably gonna work on that, but after I'm free. Cool, man, well, we're all gonna go to Bobby's place after. He just got Grand Theft Auto San Andreas on PS2. No way, really? Dude, for sure, I'll be there. All right, man, we'll see you there. Just then, hey, I turned around. Darren and a few buddies of his show up. Yo, what's up? What the hell did I tell you about talking to my girlfriend, huh? Yo, buddy, you wanna relax a little bit? It's okay, Jimmy, I got this. Look, Darren, I don't know what you're so upset about, but we sit next to each other in science class, okay? That's it. I don't care where you sit. I told you not to talk to her. Sarah's my girlfriend, not yours. And I'm sure she'll stay your girlfriend for a nice long time with that attitude. But seriously, dude, you need to relax. Don't tell me to fucking relax, you little Ching Chung. <sighs> Call me Ching Chung again. Oh, you don't like that? Ching Chung. I clenched my fist. I was getting angry, but I knew I had to keep things under control. Darren, what are you doing? Just then, Sarah arrived. You told me he keeps talking to you in class. Yeah, but we're just talking. I don't care if it's just talking. I'm not gonna let this little Ching Chung try and flirt with my girlfriend every day. Oh, you messed up calling him that. So go on, little Bruce Lee. What are you gonna do, huh? He pushes my shoulder slightly, trying to provoke me. Come on, you're gonna hit me? Go on, hit me. I dare you. Please hit me. See what happens. I don't want to fight you, Darren. Yeah, I know you don't. Because you're scared. You're a scared little Ching Chung. I push Darren's hand away and punch him hard in the nose. He staggers back. His nose starts bleeding. Ugh, you, you, you broke my nose. Terry, what, what the hell is wrong with you? Relax, it's not broken. Just put some pressure on it, you'll be fine. I told you, you shouldn't have called him Ching Chong. You're gonna pay for this. What is wrong with you? Darren, his friends, and Sarah then left. 
Shortly after, the crowd dispersed. Yo, dude! You kicked his ass! You did good, dude. I looked at Jimmy. No, I didn't. After that, it was the most awkward semester of my life. Sarah didn't talk to me at all for the rest of the entire semester. In fact, she would talk to everyone else at the table except me. And you know, that really hurt me. I felt like I was some untouchable monster who could never even have a chance of having a nice life with a nice girlfriend and just wanting to be happy. I don't know, I was pretty dramatic and kind of a romantic as a kid, but I think as I got older I've kind of grown out of that a little bit and become a little more realistic. But these were things that I struggled with growing up. Anyways, I'll probably talk more about that in the next video, but if you guys made it to the end, thank you guys so so much. Also, I know you guys really didn't like it when I kept ending everything on a cliffhanger, so I thought it might be good to just more or less finish each story within its own video but still kind of connected to the next video. So I hope I kind of did that with this story. So I hope this video didn't make anyone too upset because at least there was no cliffhanger. Anyways, that'll about do it for the video. Thanks again for watching guys and see you in the next video.